What's up, Billy Z? This is Dean and Hughes, we, musicians and bar. No, you go. This is Dean Hughes and musicians <laughs> and bars getting beers. Getting beer instead of fresh squeezed <laughs> orange juice. I like orange juice. Mm -hmm. And uh, a, a billion or a trillion eggs served here too, at the Wex. Three billion eggs, six billion oranges squeezed wow. since 1958. You're amazing. What so, an establishment. Uh, well, why don't you tell me about you instead? Tell you about me? Yeah, in tell general. Me about okay. Musicians well, in bars getting me. Um, what can I say? Well, other than hip. other than practically hip, uh, I'm not a Canadian citizen. I'm a British subject. Why? Um, because I'm too lazy to go get my citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been doing. We were start, We started in 1997. Wow. Almost uh, as old as the Raptors. Yes. <laughs> and we haven't really had a weekend off since then. So basically, this was a business that started into a, turned into a family. You, you touched on this month. How many gigs you got? Uh, we have 17 gigs this month alone. And tell me about your Canada Day. Uh, Canada Day, where were we? Oh, Mo uh, Friday was a travel day. Saturday, we were in Mont Tremblant. Sunday, we were in Guelph. Monday afternoon we were in St. Catharines and Monday night we were in Grand Bend. So Canada tragically hip, is that your busiest time? Yes. Canada Day and Canada Day is the summer is the busiest time because it's festival season and everybody wants, you know, the hip tributes and stuff to fill different venues. And board uh, birthdays or memorials? Did you do a lot of shows around that? Yeah, we we did uh, we did the memorial last October 17th when they legalized uh, my favorite flower <laughs> and was the, also the anniversary, the first anniversary of Gord's passing. October 17th we, we played um, the Horseshoe Tavern of all, yeah. of all places. I saw Trent that day. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to tilt down a little bit and check your t-shirt. Want to talk about it? Absolutely. Uh, the Gord Downey Johnny Wenjack Foundation. Um, something Gord stood strong for and was really passionate about. I try to continue saying the same stuff, you know, uh, putting it out there that this is something that needs to be addressed and taken care of, basically, because it's, okay, it's not happening now, but and I still think our, our children, and our kids need to know what happened. You know, the, the school thing, it's... The kids, our children need to know, so it doesn't happen again. A secret path. Basically, yeah, that was the that was the story um, for uh, Charlie Wenjack. Um, fantastic, heart wrenching, sad, and but inspiring. Needed, too. Yeah. But inspiring and needed. Yeah. And so you've got some causes of your own. I mean, you know. Well, my you, my. You, Emulate Gord, obviously, but I try to do the best I can. Life. I'm my, uh, uh, I'm a poor man's Gord Downey, if you want to call it that. I, I'm, yeah, I'm a poor man's Gord Downey. Um, my causes are more. Uh, we we do um, this thing called uh, Gold, uh, Cambridge Gold. It's for children with cancer. Um, uh, anything to do with children, I'm pretty passionate about. I was a bully in, in, in public school. I was a bully in middle school. Then I grew up in high school and got my ass kicked a few times. So the bullying thing sort of went out. But I still feel bad about the people and remember the people that I bullied. And to see it now, we have social media. It's everywhere. And to see it is heart-wrenching to me. I don't like to see it. It tugs at a string that I don't like to be tugged. And so it's kind of one of your causes. It is. And uh, are there any of the hip songs that you have trouble getting through because they're so heart-wrenching? No, not really, because the way I look at it is if Gord could do it, why can't I? There's, a, there's only one. There was only one experience that I had. It was shortly after Gord's passing. We played a benefit for a Rails Ride out of Toronto, and Gord's brother showed up, and I couldn't do it. I, I, I could sing, 
but I could not get into character because I thought I don't want to take the piss. You know, his his brother's just recently passed away within you know half a year. I tried and I couldn't do it, so I just tried to sing the best I could. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was Patrick. Was there. That's awesome. Um, must have been uh, kind of heartwarming. Any other uh, any other stories from the road? Um, that were um, well, we've got lots of stories from the road. Yeah, mean, <laughs> meaningful or even a funny story. Now let's go on the lighter side. Yes, yes, I do have a funny moment. Actually, uh, myself and the guitar player two weeks ago were talking about um, how I've never put my foot in my mouth and had a spinal tap moment where I've said hello Toledo when you're in Mississippi. Well, last night we played in Newmarket. And the first words out of my mouth were, hello, Markham. <laughs> and then I said, shit. <laughs> and then I said, hello, Newmarket. And then I apologized for saying shit. And because it was a children's all, all, all ages event. <laughs> and then I apologized for calling them that they were from Markham. So right. there was my spinal tap moment. Other than that, I love, most Please of them are personal. <laughs> and it's usually involved after hours, after the gig. Yeah, and you've got some good friends in the uh, Practically Hip family. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Done gigs with different people. Anybody you want to shout out to? Any in, other in, band? in the band or any other bands? Any other bands that you like working with? Oh, I like working with a lot of other bands. With Sean, uh, Sean Brady from Elevation, the guy's top shelf, man. I mean top shelf. Uh, Chris Newman, um, Bon Jovi, Keep the Faith. He, What he does, I think, is... Very good. You know, he lives the part. Um, there's a few tributes out there that I'm, you know, I'm not going to mention any, but it's more. There was a, there was a few hip tributes that have come out since Gord's passed, and I agree, bring them out because I, this music should live on. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, they're not that good, or they're not as good as you. Really, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be. It's, it's a matter of, are you enjoying yourself? And they're raising awareness. We can't play everywhere, and neither can the other hit tributes. As far as I'm concerned, we're not the best. We're one of the best. Any hit tributes you want to shout out? Absolutely. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Strictly Hip and Jeremy, uh, Almost Hip and Craig, uh, Wheat Kings and Todd. Um, and another one off the top of my head, uh, you know, there's, there's a Tragically Hits, there's Grace 2. Oh. Uh, there's a new band out called Fabulously Rich. You want to hear what Gord really sounds like live? Go check them out. Fabulously Rich. Fabulously Rich. I do you know believe, where they're from? I think they're based out of Toronto, but all their dates seem to be on the East Coast, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. If you're out that way, do yourself a favor and check these guys out. Because it's all, it's all... As far as I'm concerned, we're one big hip family, and there's if there's ten tributes, then there's ten families, and we're all together. Any other uh, brushes with greatness, or uh... not really? I've never met Gord. I've had the opportunity to on many of occasion. I've been backstage, and as soon as Gord walks into the room, he's basically swarmed. Everybody leaves the conversations they're in <laughs> to try to get a piece of him, and that's <laughs> never ever been my cup of tea. I'm not that, because he's just a guy with. A bigger bank account than mine, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you've been in the same room. And more room. talent. I've been in the same room with Gord a few times. Yeah, the other uh, guys have met him. Yeah, that's great. Well, anything you want to say before we close? Um, yeah. Don't be a bully, and tell your children not to be bullies. That's basically it. And go see the practically him. Yeah, and come see us. Practically hip. Dot com. Thanks for being on Musicians in Bars, Getting Beer, E-News. Cheers. Cheers, Billy. Thanks.